Welcome back to the We Are City channel. We currently sit in our FIFA 23 career in Manchester City in Season 3. Top of the Premier League by 12 points. What a season we've had. Only 18 goals conceded, 10 less than the next best defensive team in the league. And we've scored 78 as well. More than 10 than what the best other teams in the league are. We've lost 200 on to, but won 22. A plus 60 goal difference. The nearest to us is Spurs in a plus 22 we're just unbelievable in terms of goals. Just absolutely unbelievable. 12 points clear. We face Brentford today to kick the episode off in a simulation. They're bottom of the league, Brentford at home. Uh, I've got no worries about that one. Let's have a look at the schedule for today's episode because we have got Brentford here, which we're not going to play. I'm thinking of playing the Coventry away game in the Cup, in the, the FA Cup. I'm going to simulate or play Norwich. Obviously simulate the Bruges game. I think we're going to play Coventry, play Norwich play Spurs and play Leicester City away. And that is the way the episode's going to go. We'll simulate Watford at home and simulate Brentford at home. I don't think they're going to cause us any problems. Obviously, Brugger as well we can simulate because we're 7-1 up on aggregate. That's unbelievable. But let's get into the first game, a simulation against Brentford, and then play some of the second players against Coventry. See how they perform, but knowing that we need to try and win the FA Cup considering we got knocked out the Carabao Cup stupidly in the semi-final. And it's a 3-1 win over Brentford. Goals for Phil Foden, a double, and Erling Haaland. Damsgaard gets one in the 80th minute, disappointed to concede. But three points, that nearly gets up to 20 goals conceded this season, I think. But it uh, nearly gets us to 100 goals in terms of goals. We're on about 80, 20 goals away from 100 goals. Do you think we can do it? With Erling Haaland, surely we can. So FA Cup away game to Coventry City, and this is the side we go with. In goal is Stefan Ortega, it's Luis Akanji, Captain Nathan Ake, and Josh Wilson Esbrand in the back four. Calvin Phillips and Danny Olmo in the midfield too with Cole Palmer in front. Kaiki on the right, Bruges on the left and Julian Alvarez through the middle. On the bench we've got Diaby, Foden, De Bruyne, Rodri Gomez, Diaz and also Joe Hart. His first time named in the Manchester City squad for what? Nearly 10 years now? 9 years I think the last time he was named in the City squad. So how come the two sides in an interesting FA Cup tie which is expected to go in the way of Manchester City. But Coventry City could cause... The club a few problems. We've got Keiki in there, some of the younger players. I mean, Keiki's an absolute talent, isn't he? The winner of today's game, I'm going to the quarterfinals. I don't think that'd be who he... It doesn't work in a bracket, the FA Cup. It's a random draw, so it won't be Leeds or Cardiff that we face in the quarterfinals. I don't know any Coventry City players. Oha, perhaps Sheaf, ex-Arsenal man in there for them. Um, Ronnie Edwards, was it Peter? I don't think he had a very time at Coventry City. Other than that, I'm not quite sure. Obviously, Callum Dial did at one point, but he has been sold and moved on. That is the side. Jake Bidwell, Peter Atkins, Tyler Walker, some names. Tom Parks of, you know, the Pagger as well on the bench. Of, you know, I know them slightly, but no one that I really think is a problem causer. Let's see how they do today, commentary. They're going to put in a good performance. They've got a lot to play for, haven't they? Even Diaz to a time. Are pretty unhappy with their game time. They want to play more football for Manchester City. Are they going to have a look at their future? Which is a shame for Nathan Ake because I think he's brilliant. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Olmo. Olmo! A bit of space here in a shot. Bilson makes the save. I don't want Ake to leave, but I have a feeling Ake will leave. There's Brand. There's Brand. Cross across the box here. No one was there. Rico Lewis. Olmo. There's Brand again. Into Kaiki with a chance. It's 1 0 City. It's Kaiki again who's scoring record. He's absolutely unbelievable. Assist for Josh Wilson. There's Brand who is that man on that left hand side. Like Borna Sosa. A wonderful attacking fullback. There's Brand found. Nice cross and Kaiki. In there in the box. One thing I haven't checked is what is Kaiki's age? Because could he be going for the Young Player of the Season award? He could, he's 21, so he won't be getting the Player of the Season award, but he could get the Young Player of the Season award. Palmer. Alvarez through to Kaiki again. The Brazilians in once more. Kaiki off the post. Oh, he should have made it too there. Disappointed he hadn't doubled his tally. Olmo. What a ball. Esbrand might go for goal himself here. Instead of putting it across the box, Josh Wilson, Esbrand went for goal. And he gets a goal from fullback. Good assist by Olmo. Who's passing in that attacking midfield role. We've got Dominic Soberschlei as well, haven't we? Olmo, Soberschlei, De Bruyne. Of course, De Bruyne's not going to be around forever. 
His last season is going to be next year, Kevin De Bruyne. And a good finish by Ez Brandt. Almost playing a deeper role today, I suppose, and it? it's working. Kaiki. Lewis. Kaiki wins it back. Jack Grealish with a hit. Should score. He should have got way more goals this season, Grealish. Olmo. Farmer. Locked. Grealish in the turn. Ooh, good shot. Good save by the keeper. Yeah, I've got a Kanji and Ake to aim for. Gone to Ake and Calvin Phillips at the far post. Because he thinks he deserves better. He thinks he deserves first team football, which he, he just might be right about. There's Brand. Kaiki. Oh, just dips over the bar. It took a deflection. Corner again. Olmo in there. And that will be half time. City 2, Coventry 0. Good performance from City. Kaiki. Should have scored more. Could have had a hat-trick. Okay, here's Brad. Grealish. Farmer. There's Brand. Alvarez could defend him. Grealish the turn here. And a good save by Bilson again. There's plenty of shots, Grealish. Here's Palmer. Into Alvarez. Oh, he's done well with the press him. Trouble here. Still got it. Alvarez just worked so hard for that. He worked so hard for the goal, unbelievably. I don't know who their centre-back is, but he's got to be. Just He just couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't go anywhere. Alvarez was on him. He had Olmo as well, marking his passing. He eventually fell over the ball. And we got ourselves a goal. 3-0 City. Good performance against Coventry here today. Really good performance. Pressing by Rico Lewis. Can't find it. Ake's been bypassed here. Definitely a chance for Coventry to get a goal against Manchester City here. On the counter. Lewis don't win the challenge. Farmer. That's the Kanji. Pulled it back on the edge of the box. It might deflect into their path here. They do. Get a goal. I'll take it. Can't get on the end of it. I mean, they were very fortunate. And then the Pag I mean, I'll take it there. That's flailing his arm. He's never going to save it, is he? He had to be strong. Come out and try and catch that. He didn't do. Rico Lewis. Cross blocked. Kaiki. Alvarez at the near post. It's 4 on City. Well, Coventry had their little chance there, didn't they? The, the wind felt like it was in their sails, but it wasn't. Not when you come against a quality side like Manchester City. And we punished them on the other way. On the, the other end. And it's 4-0 now. Or 4-1. It should be 4-0. I'm, I'm disappointed with the goal conceded. Certainly. Olmo. Cole Palmer. Palmer won't mind himself a goal. Cole Palmer does get himself a goal. 5-1. Brilliant for Cole Palmer. Who's still slowly working himself into this Manchester City side. He hasn't really set the world alight like a Kaiki, for example. He's more of a Lewis or an Esbrand. Slowly building up his ability to be a first team player. Only 78 rated. We'll get Rodri on. Why not? But I wish he'd grow quicker, Cole Palmer, at 78. I wish he'd... I wanted him to be 80 by the end of the season. Perhaps he still will be. Esbrand's done well. He stopped the cross. Kanji, good challenge again. That is full time. Coventry 1, Manchester City 5. Three points. It's not. But a, a, a ticket to the quarterfinals, I think, of the FA Cup. Which is what we wanted. Well, next is Premier League action at Carrow Road. We go to face Norwich City. This is a side we're going to go with. Mignan in goal. It's Cancelo, Stones, Diaz and Sosa the back four. Rodri and De Jong in the midfield two with Captain Ibrahim in front. The Arby, Foden and Haaland the front three. Pretty much our highest rated and strongest 11 we can put out there due to injuries. On the bench, Alvarez, Kaiki, Grealish, Olmo, Phillips, Ake and Ortega. And one thing to note is Dominic Sobeschlai is back in training, slowly working back from his injury, which is great to see. So Norwich back in the Premier League and no doubt going back down to the Championship at the end of this season. Carroll City have lost here before, had a defeat. If you remember that game where Atomendi and Stones pretty much sort of signed away their Manchester City career. Stones came back from it, Nicholas Atomendi never really did. Stones got the chance to. City versus Norwich City. Mohamed Atarian in this Norwich side. Wow, okay. Let's have a look at their starting 11. I think it'll be an interesting lineup. So, this is the Norwich City side then. Tim Krul is still the goalkeeper and captain in goal. It's Sikert, Segera, Conte, and Gianni Lewis 
the back four. Bohin sets in the midfield with Springer, Italian, Nunez and Rashika in front. It's Joao Pedro, ex Watford man, the striker. Trellis on the bench, Idar, Valimumba, Rowe, Jimenez and also Angus Gunn. And he wins it back for his team. I think Marcus Alonso, isn't it? Bonar Sosa, I suppose. De Bruyne. Sosa. Bowden. Into Haaland here. Haaland from range. What a finish by Haaland from range. 1-0. And he's scoring again. And he's coming for that Premier League record despite two, two months out of the season. Good touch. Edge of the box. Just sees the keeper. Tim Krull slightly out of position. And he hammers it in the back of the net. It's too easy for a man like Erling Haaland, isn't it? He's missed a couple of chances as well throughout the season. 16 goals in 16 games for Haaland. And Norwich come the other way. And they do. Trial Pedro. Mania with a save. I'm asking Joao Cancelo to clear that. Why is he fouling in the box? He's going to be off here. It's a yellow card. I cannot believe it. He should be off. I want him to clear that. Why has he just gone across the player? Another goal conceded for Mike Minion, unless pull something special here. Chip down the middle by Atarian. 1 1. Norwich are level. So frustrating. I want him to clear that. Why did he just go flying in for the tackle? Created the first goal, didn't he? Really? Well, Joao Cantel created it. De Bruyne. Haaland's gone here. Good touch. Onto his right foot, Erling Haaland. It's 2 0 City. We're back in front. Again, it's a brilliant goal by Haaland. What a player. Switch it onto that right foot. Again, sees Krull. Krull's got his weight on his other foot. You can see that clearly. Krull has got all his weight on his right foot. And he hasn't then got that to burst the other side. Haaland makes it 2 on. Guardiola celebrates. Rodri, wonderful interception. De Bruyne. They're in trouble here. De Bruyne behind the Haaland's got a foot race here. With Sikera. Haaland looking for the hat trick. Haaland gets the hat trick. It's 3 1. That is what he offers Haaland. And that is what we don't have when he's not in the team, I suppose. We were obviously a good team without Haaland, but we just cannot play those balls in behind to a player who just knows going to run through and score. Three shots, three goals for Erling Haaland. And Manchester City are running riot at Carra Road. As expected, really. What is Cancelo doing today? 3-2. Norwich scores second. Defensively all over the shot. Why is the point of Cancelo being on the line? I mean, Mainyan, that's bad keeping. Reserves to concede two. Why is Cancelo doing on the line there? Absolutely nothing. Cancelo out pressing. Rodri, foot in. Rashika. It's Cancelo and giving away to the Arby. Well done, Rodri. Haaland. De Bruyne. Into Haaland, who's got here. Haaland into Foden. Phil Foden makes it 4-2. And selfish from Haaland. 4-2. Phil Foden scores. Good goal from Phil as well. Little flick back by Haaland. Plays it into Phil Foden. Right foot right into the bottom corner. Never stopping that one. Tim Krul. 55 minutes gone. 4-2. To the Arby. Little flick. The Arby down. De Bruyne. Haaland. Oh, great goal from City. 5-2. What a goal from City. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Sosa into the Arby. Down to the Bruyne. Down to Haaland. And he finishes it. Great goal. 5-2 Manchester City. We can make some substitutions perhaps. We're going to get Cole Palmer. Kaiki on. Palmer for the Arby. Face. Stone's good challenge. Gives it straight back to them. I'm completely off put by the play with no face playing on the field here. Palmer. Haaland. Anthony Brown, a bad pass. Foden, good challenge. Phil Foden. Phil Foden. Oh, he's done that for himself there. 6 2. 
Done that for himself there, Phil Foden. Big challenge, made the tackle. Referee didn't say free kick. He said no, it was a clean one by Phil Foden. And he was in. Could have given it to Haaland, Phil Foden, but instead he went for goal himself. And puts it past Tim Krul. Haaland's coming off as well now for Kaiki. 6-2 Manchester City at Norwich. But a massive blip on our record is those two goals conceded. Give, give City a, a tough game as well. Farmer. De Bruyne. Foden. Kaiki again. 7-2 Manchester City. Well, would it be a game of football if Kaiki didn't come on and score? I'm not quite sure. Because he always comes on and scores. Foden into him. And a good finish by Kaiki. Saying Phillips of Stones at the back. I don't know why I've done that, but we'll do it. Get Phillips a bit of football. A bit of game time. 7 2. It's just the goals conceded I'm so frustrated with. I'd happily sacrifice, you know, the goal scored to, to not concede. And that is full time. City 7, Norwich 2. Big win at Carr Road. Just so annoyed with the goals conceded. Haaland with another hat trick. He got four goals today. Up next was Club Brugge in the Champions League. Of course, we are already 7-1 up on aggregate. And we won 2-1 in the game. Goals from Kevin De Bruyne late on. And Kaiki in the 41st minute. Means a 9-2 win in aggregate for Manchester City. As we go through the Champions League quarterfinals. We've drawn Blackburn Rovers in the Emirates FA Cup quarterfinal. You can see there. Chelsea have gone through against Cardiff. Palace have gone through. And it'll either be Newcastle or Cambridge to go through with us or Blackburn. We are going to simulate this game against Blackburn, consider it's at home as well, and get to the FA Cup semi-final where we don't look to slip up like we did in the Carabao Cup ones. And an extra time win, in fact, in the FA Cup quarterfinals against Blackburn Rovers. They took us all the way to 120th minute where Cole Palmer scored a late goal. Alvarez got the opener in the 46th. Very, very good game, it seems. We mentioned top goal scorers in the league. Top goal scorer is Erling Haaland with 19 in 16 games. Raheem Sterling is second with 18 in 23. Now, he had 18 about five games ago. He's been stuck on that. Diaby's got 13 as well for us. Dakar in there. Diaz for Liverpool. Kane and Son on 15 and 14 and 13. De Bruyne top and assist. 20 assists in 27 games for De Bruyne. Wow. Kane on 13. British on 8. And top in clean sheets is Mignan. 15 in 28 games. A lot more than in second place, Aaron Ramsdale of Arsenal. We currently sit 15 points clear at the top of the Premier League table of second place, Liverpool, third Spurs, fourth Chelsea and fifth Manchester United. There, sixth Arsenal, seventh Newcastle. Down at the bottom of the table is still Brentford, Watford and Wolves. Wolves can still get out of it, actually, though. Norwich are in, in 15th, surprisingly. I said they'd go down, didn't I? We're sailing away, absolutely sailing away. We have con conceded over 20 goals now, which is disappointing. And we face Tottenham Hotspur today. I don't think that would bring anyone back into the title race with a defeat here today in Spurs. We we've got a lot of confidence going to the last 10 games of the season, but we're going to play them. We're going to try and beat them and try and keep a clean sheet as well and be defensively solid. We are, what, 12 goals away from 100 goals now. Not far, is it, for us? This aside for Spurs today, Mignan in goal, it's Cancelo, Stones, Diaz and Sosa the back four. Rodri and Frankie De Jong in the midfield too with Captain De Bruyne in front. The Ibe on the right, Foden on the left and Erling Haaland through the middle on the bench. Alvarez, Kaiki, Grealish, return of Dominic Sobislai, Olmo, Akanji, who's now 86 rated by the way, and Ortega. Maybe Akanji should be starting ahead of Stones, I don't think so. Spurs, here we go. So Spurs are at the Etihad. Conte versus Guardiola. Guardiola got the better of him earlier on the season, didn't we? And uh, City are the better side by far. Same hopefully here again today. We've got to keep Son quiet. Got to keep Kane quiet as money than Bele. We've seen how good that Spurs side is. It looks like they've signed Luca Hernandez as well to add to that. I mean, they've made some ridiculous signings. Such a strong side. They should be doing better than being more than 15 points behind the league leaders, shouldn't they? This is the Spurs side then for Conte. And goal is Jordan Pickford. A back five of Jed Spence. Luca Hernandez, Christian Romero, Ginter and Ryan Sessegnon. Carl Soler and Marco Verratti part of the midfield too with Rodrigo, Kane and Hyung Min Son captain the front three on the bench. Lloris, Ajoy, Osmane Dembele, Sebastian Allaire, Royal Emerson, Emerson Royal, Lo Celso and Dane Scarlett. What a Spurs side, but we are better. We keep Kane, Son, Rodrigo quiet, we'll be fine. Bowden. De Bruyne! Oh, 1-0 City! Within five minutes, and De Bruyne this time. He gets the, the goal. He opens the goal scoring. 
No Haaland. De Bruyne is there instead. Haaland makes a run that pulls him away from De Bruyne. So slow by Verratti. And by the time Romero's even noticed, De Bruyne's put it in the back of the net. It's 1-0 City. As easy as that for Pep Guardiola's side. He's 8th the season. 1-0 City within 6 minutes. Spurs, come on, give us a game, lads. Away from Harry Kane, Frankie De Jong and Rodrigo. What a player. Foden. Oh, Phil Foden. All oh, Frankie De Jong's hard work is ruined by your stupid pass there. Sosa can't win it. Rodrigo still. Kane. Oh, he skipped past a few here, Kane. Stone's in there. What a cross to Ryan Sessegnon. Great defending by Ruben Diaz. Frankie De Jong just receives the ball and turns so easily. Rodri. Bowden. De Bruyne. Haaland. Haaland from range here. Picked up with a good save. Wait for Kane to press him. Plays it round him if he's not there. De Bruyne. What a ball to De Arby. Who's to De Arby? Still going. Haaland! Oh, brilliant save by Pickford. Haaland should score. Corner ball. Stones attacks it. Full-bloodedly. Full Frankie. Phil Foden on the turn and he turns it past the post just before the half-time whistle. Oh, the Stones. Oh, De Bruyne, brilliant. The Arby's gone. Bit wide, but the Bruyne has found him. The Arby. What a ball. Haaland, 2 0. What a ball by the Arby. 2 0, Manchester City. Absolutely class ball from Musa the Arby. Absolutely class ball. Lifts it in with the outside of his left foot. Haaland, first time volley into the side netting. That is pure champagne football. The cross, as good as the finish, if not better, to find Erling Haaland. I can't find him. De Bruyne. De Bruyne still. And two. Frankie de Jong gets it well. Can't score. Cleared away. Down. Rodri. Frankie. Foden. Erling Haaland. What a save by Pickford again. Haaland again. Oh, another great save by Pickford. He's brilliant, Pickford. He really is. Cross in by De Bruyne. Haaland in there off the line. Oh, what a game. Pickford's having. Inter. Soler. Kane. Lovely switch. Here's Dembele. Pulls it back. Tackled by Frankie De Jong. Kane gets his way through. Goal conceded. So frustrating. A goal conceded like that. He turns. Too easy. Mainyan can't say that when it's hammered in by Harry Kane. 2-1. And it's Spurs with one chance of scored like that. For all the chances we've had. And there again. De Bruyne. Haaland's in there again. Cleared away. Rodri. Frankie de Jong lashes one. Saved by Pickford whose goal has been absolutely peppered. Fold him. Haaland! Another save by Pickford. We'll be on her onside, I'm sure. Rodri. The Abbey blocked away again. Sobberschlei on his return. Straight at Pickford. Into De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne turns, runs at the opposition. De Bruyne. De Bruyne off the post. Falling behind us, Money Dembele. Is it Rodrigo? Crossing to Harry Kane with a header. City free kick for a handball. An offside for Harry Kane. Diaz, do not mess this up. That is full time. A 2-1 win against Spurs. I want to see the stats because that should have been a 10-1 win. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous how we didn't score more goals. And the stats show there. Spurs had three shots all game. And we had 23 shots. Unbelievable. The final game of today's episode is Leicester City away in the Premier League, but we've got to keep in mind that in only two days' time, our Champions League quarter-final team will be played. I won't reveal who we face in the quarter-finals, but that is something to 
keep an eye on when we play with the squad we're putting out today at the end of today's episode. So Sab going to go against Leicester City today. Mike Mignan starts in goal. It's going to be Cancelo, Akanji, Ake and Josh wilson Ezra on the back four. Captain Phillips and Olmo in the midfield too with Dominic Soboslai's first start since injury back in the starting eleven. It's four on the left, Kaiki on the right and Erling Haaland up top. We're looking to get Haaland off as quickly as possible after a few goals. Um, and other than that, I think I'm happy with the side put out there because I mean it means Lewis would play in the Champions League. But that's fine. I'm, I'm confident in Lewis, more confident in Lewis than I am Josh Wilson as Brown. So we go, final game of the episode, City versus Leicester. We've had a pretty successful episode for results. Still not the rock, the solid defence that we once had right at the start of the season. We keep continuing to work towards that and maybe we'll find that towards the end of the season. We'll need that in the Champions League anyway. Kaiki back in there again today looking to score goals. Haaland looking to score plenty of goals as well. So this is the Leicester City side. In goal is Daniel Iverson. It's Gertrude, Amati, Captain Shaletta, Saren Robertson, the back four in the midfield. It's Scott McTominay with Alex Bayena, uh, Riddle Baku, Jusby Hall and Platter in front. The 40 million pound man Platter came in in January. Diego Costa, Jordi Alved, and Alvarez. Soyuncu, Pry on the bench. Horta starts up top. Ecuadorian signed from Real Valle. Here's Kaiki. Haaland. Holding them off. There's Brand. Oh, nice point to Kaiki on a strike. Had more time there, I think, Kaiki. Good crossing by Esbrand as well. Oh, Philip skipped past. Riddle back out. Where right, they go to Gertrude. I did with Esbrand. The chance here. Wonderful defending by Mamula Kanji. So much light. I mean, Haaland have got a wonderful connection. Down to Phil Foden by Haaland, nearly. So much Lane and Haaland play together at Salzburg. Foden, a bit too much. It's Leicester City play out again. Phillips good interception, so much light. Phil Foden. Foden, 1-0 City. Foden, so much light, and Phil Foden scores to make it 1-0. Good finish from Phil as well, first time as he comes onto it. But he cracks it, doesn't he? First time, really well. Good strike from 15 metres. And into that top right-hand corner. 1-0 City lead, and perhaps against the runner play, that's Foden's eighth of the season. Not the most prolific player in front of goal, I suppose, this season. He has been injured like Erling Haaland, but Haaland's come back and scored a ridiculous amount. I'm going to run Cancelo here, and he's actually done well, Platter. Olmo. Olmo has been pushed and pulled all over the place by Baku here. Or Horta, I don't know who it was. I mean, look at this, he's got a full arm on the shirt of Olmo. Haaland over this free kick. It's going to be Dominic Sobish light. This is surely going to be a goal here. There's no one. Sobish light off the post. Kaiki just walks it in. 2 0. Well, Sobish light returns to the side. Nearly gets a goal from a free kick. It was terrible um, defending. Oh, terrible. The goalkeeper lined up the wall with only two men. Off the wall, and then Kaiki just walks it in. I was thinking he was going to put that wide Kaiki there, the way that first touch went. But he didn't, he made sure he put it in the back of the net. Brendan Rogers frustrated with his side. The wall just, you've only got two men in the wall. You need to ask your goalkeeper Ivers what he was doing. And he kept it in as well, well done. Slabish light. Olmo. Slabish light. Esbrand. Bowden. Esbrand into Haaland. Kaiki down to Joel Cancelo, blocked away. Savage lie, well played. Fold him, Savage lie. Kaiki, oh great save by Iverson. Hits it across his own box, defending that. Defender and he still get away with it. Savage lie. Great touch. <sighs> I thought he was about to put that with the outside of his boot in the top corner. Dominic Savage lay and lucky. Okay. The far post to Alvarez. Kaiki. Haaland in there. Away again, Phillips. Savage lay with a hit. Blocked away. Horta. Give it away to Akanji. We'll probably score here now. I'm going to lose our clean sheet and I'll be very annoyed. Clean sheet gone again 2 1. Bit like the Spurs game. How have they? How have we had 300 shots and not scored? 
Rico Lewis sort of at fault for the first goal. Or for the only goal they've scored. And I'm annoyed that we can see it's a silly goal. Oh, I want to say by Mainyan. Keep going. Hold on, okay. And Sissy Counter now. In numbers, Alvarez. Haaland, Julian Alvarez. Go on, Julian. Oh, just away from the boot of Haaland. There's Brand. What a ball. Haaland, he finally does score. He's offside. 3-1 Haaland offside. Full time. Thank you very much for watching. We are playing wonderfully in the Premier League. And we've got the Champions League still to play for. I want to win that Champions League this season. Please like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll see you guys next time.